We're here at Community Care College and we're going to learn a little bit about the dental assisting program. I have some of the staff here with me. Hi everybody, I'm Janet Kuhn. I'm the department head of the dental assistant program and one of the daytime instructors. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Lisa Curry and I'm the evening dental assistant instructor. Can I see some of the classrooms that they'll Absolutely. be? Absolutely, come on up. Come on up. So what is this room? So this is our sterilization and lab area. Um, it's really important in dentistry um, to know how to take care of the instruments, how okay. to keep patients safe. So one of the first things that we want students to understand is um, OSHA, sterilization, and clean practices. So in here... Yeah, what some of this stuff is? Yeah, so we've got ultrasonics, we've got cold sterilization. We pride ourselves on the fact that we have three different types of autoclaves. Um, a lot of offices have different equipment, so we want to make sure that our students are prepared no matter where they go for externship, that they have worked with each of these pieces of equipment and have some understanding about it. What does the externship look like? The externship is an extension of school. Um, it consists of 180 hours. Um, it needs to take place in a general um, dental facility. Okay. General means that the students are going to see a little bit of everything. They're going to see fillings and crowns and root canals. Okay. Um, externship gives them an opportunity to get their x-rays and practice those and so they do fantastic. We have great um, uh, con community involvement with our externships. We've got some really good offices. And what does the classes look like while they're still in school? Um, the classes here at Community Care College um, are four, they're, they're four days a week. So now that we've seen some of this stuff, can we see what the classroom looks like? Absolutely. Let's get to that. So we're in the student study area right now, but the classroom's right over here, right? Just right around the hall. Okay. So what does the class schedule look like? Well, for the daytime class, our schedules are Monday through Thursday. Okay. We are in class from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Um, that gives us opportunity to get classroom time, but also lab time, hands-on, um, and meet the requirements that the students need to be able to get out into the workforce and really have an understanding of dentistry. Okay. The evening program um, is also Monday through Thursday, um, and it is 5.30 to 10.30. Um, which is a great opportunity because we know that there are prospective students who want to go to school, they want to get that foundation, but because of work schedules, child care, yeah. just coming in the daytime isn't an opportunity. So we're really proud of the fact that we do have an evening program mm -hmm. that does give the flexibility. That's Absolutely. great. And how often do classes start? Um, you know what? Classes actually start every Monday. Okay. Um, you know, coming from more kind of a traditional background of education, I wasn't really sure how the Monday start would would occur. Yeah. Um, I have found it to be pretty amazing. What, Students like it? They do like it. And the way that I describe our program is kind of like a Ferris wheel. Okay. But if you had a Ferris wheel that had 24 cars in it, you can just hop into one of those cars, you take the trip of 24 weeks, mm -hmm. and you jump off and you're ready to go to externship. So you can really jump in on any of those classes yeah. and you're ready to go. That's awesome. What kind of demographic are your students usually? You know what, I think traditionally people look at dentistry and the assumption is that the dental assistant is a female driven um, profession. We actually are starting to get more males in it, so so I don't like to um, kind of stereotype the dental yeah. assistant. We have males, females, we have young, right out of high school, um, all the way to, you know, kind of a second career. Um, we have professionals who have had a career, they've raised their children, and they're just looking to do something different. Cool. So there's a, a wide variety of students that come to see us. Awesome. Well, can we see the last place, the operatory? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. So this is the operatories? Yeah, this is our dental operatories. And here at Community Care College, we have three dental operatories. This is, in other words, the treatment room. Um, what I love about Community Care College and the treatment room settings, the dental operatories in other words, 
is that, as you can see, it gives the students a real life hands-on experience. It looks Come like a real dentist office. Yeah, we literally are able to simulate how dentistry is performed here on these type of dots, is what we call them. And as you can see, it is set up just like your dentist's office with all the proper equipment. And we're here to give the students a really good hands-on uh, approach to dentistry because so much about dentistry is truly the hands-on aspect of this field. And I know that our students all get a kit when they get here. We're a nonprofit, so our goal is not to just get them through the program, but to equip them for their future career. So what do they have in that kit usually? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the kit for the dental assistant program includes two sets of scrubs, tops and bottoms. They also get two community care college t-shirts. Um, the expectation is we wear scrubs in dentistry, so therefore we want our students wearing scrubs. Um, they are offered an opportunity to obtain a laptop device if they need one. Um, and then their books are taken care of both electronically and as hard books as well, the workbooks that we work out of. So. And all of that is included in the price of tuition. Absolutely it is. And I will tell you another thing that's included, um, we do make sure that students get their dental assisting permit, um, which is required by the state of Oklahoma to be able to work in this profession. Um, we make sure that the students have CPR for health care providers, and we also make sure that they have their first expanded function of being able to take x-rays. That is also all included in the cost of tuition. That's awesome. So it really just includes everything that they need. Everything that you need to get a, a position out in a dental office. So if you're interested at all and want more information, you can go to our website, communitycarecollege.edu. You can also give us a call at 918-610-0027. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much.